Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is video five of the series for the low bearing equipment from Whiskey 2.4 and other gear makers. Now, um, previous video, I showed you the uh, the uh, backside of the carrier uh, or the battle vest, whatever you want to call this contraption that I've made here. I just uh, put it on this uh, pack of MREs just to kind of give you a bit of shape. And I'll turn it around so you can kind of see how it would uh, sit on somebody. Of course, we're not boxes, so it wouldn't quite sit like this. But basically, this portion would sit on top of your shoulders here. Um, but this is something that you can do with this company. I mean, it's it's a nice, nice system. Now, it's not the most economical way of creating a rig, but... If you have the coin, do it. It's a good choice. Now, uh, a few of the additions that I added, if you notice this little pouch right here, it's a, uh, it's a uh, hand grenade pocket, uh, but it's also good size for, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, compasses. I just have a SOL, uh, you know, sear, you know, survival kit. You know what I'm, you guys know what I'm talking about. It just happened to fit this pouch perfectly. Now, if you notice, it's not in its original configuration. I just added some of the uh, Velcro to match the rest of the whole deal and blacked out a portion of the uh, webbing, the gross grain webbing there with some Sharpies and, and uh, turned out really nice. Blends in pretty well. Looks right at home with the rig. And that's a neat little mod you can do. I just, you know, cut out the Velcro and sewed it on. And that way it covers the snap. You know, eventually the snaps, the brass starts showing through and it shines. So this Velcro helps cover that up and, you know, adds a bit of utility. You can add markers to it and it just improves the overall function of it. it just looks cool too, you know. So... Moving on to how I have my, uh, I showed you guys this before, but I didn't really go into detail. You know, I have my Gerber MILF2 stuck in this little hold right here. So let me take it off the box and I'll show you how I have it done up. So Right here, let me get the box out of the way. That way we can see it. So how I was telling you guys about that strap that I used to lock this this wing in, I actually used it on the back side and routed it through the loops that you would actually attach it to the leg strap or the Molly strap. And you just I just did this. And I took some one loop uh once uh one wrap velcro cut out the exact portions of it and made loops out of them and then sewed them onto a uh, because of the way it's done up you need it to have the rough side velcro and then of course you got the loop velcro right here so I just basically sewed it on in just a single single line and locked it into place now the uh, sharpener kind of sticks out a little bit right here but because I've got this and the extra bit of this loop Velcro, you don't even notice it, especially when it's up against your body. It actually does a really good job and uh, pushes the uh, bottom of the magazine pouch slightly forward, which is just fine. But that's how I got that on there, and it's locked in there. I don't have any issues with it, especially because it's on that portion. Um, you know, it's on the inside of the curve, so because I've got this elastic here, no matter how tight I adjust my rig, I won't feel this pressing up against my body. It's as if this is just one unit and it's just, you know, part of the magazine pouch. So it's a good little, good little ordeal right there and it's not going anywhere. Now, if you get it a little squirrely, you could add like a bungee or something to kind of retain the, the knife handle or uh, do whatever you want with that. You know, maybe take some one wrap and lock it into place if you're really worried about it. Uh, that's another way you can secure the, the handle, but I think 
this is just fine, especially since it's right here. I can basically pin my, you know, my arm around it. And especially when I'm, if I'm ever shouldering a rifle or anything like that, this doesn't inhibit uh, shouldering anything. So uh, same goes for this pouch right here. This doesn't, because I'm a right-handed shooter, I put it on this side. And uh, also, yeah, so, it, you know, you don't have any interference with shouldering the rifle. And I have no problem getting into this, this magazine pouch right here because of the way the flap is designed. I can just reach in and pull the magazines out, and I don't, I'm not interfering with the pouch above it. And there's a bit of space, you know, so it's not right on top of the magazines. So it's a good combo. I can put that stuff there. And uh, it's a good, easily accessible pouch. Now I just have this just to show you the size of the pouch. You know, this SOL kit. I may put other things like a GPS or a, uh, or a compass pouch there and move this survival kit onto my uh, first line belt. So got a regular PTT right here. Can hook into the comms. It's hooked up to my radio. And uh, you see the hose right here for the bladder. I just got it kind of locked into place with the Grimlock. It's an easy way for me to get to it. I can, you know, suck whatever I need to out of this hose and then just stow it back right here. And it's locked into place. I don't have it flopping around. So it's a good little, good little hack. There's enough space there. It works. So... This rig is kind of an amalgamation of different concepts, and uh, I think it's pretty slick. Now, my next video, I plan on uh, kind of showing you how it wears on the body and the different things uh, you can do with it, my school of thought on it. And uh, I'll kind of give you a teaser on some of the other equipment that I'll be showing you guys here in the future. So. Talk to you later, guys. See you out in the field.